All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rekakwa Dash. Bluetooth disconnect. Thawadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit. Thawadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for giving us this truth as worms. Double honor to our apostle elders at Great Millstone and salutation and blessings to the whole full lake. And it's going to be a quick video off of something we just, or the brother mentioned in group chat. He said he was at the Riverwalk and uh, out here in Detroit. And uh, he heard, said he heard protesting going on in Canada. And, he's, and uh, he said he was wondering what they were protesting about. And I just looked it up. And they're protesting about what everybody's protesting about. And Canada, if you don't know, Canada is across the way in Detroit. It's, it's, it's right there, man. When that, when things were open, you could take a, a bus there. It would take like five, five, 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Not even that. Like five minutes, to be honest. It's, it's very short. Very short travel from here to canada but canada's right fucking there so you whatever's going on on our side they can hear whatever's going on on their side we can hear so and this is what they're protesting about it says i'll go to it, it said pro protesters gather at the at the protesters gather at the great canadian flag in downtown windsor sunday afternoon which you can see in the background that downtown Detroit is on the other side. That's what's across the, the, the river, downtown Detroit. It says, a crowd was heard chanting, because the brother heard them across the way. He, he heard them from Detroit, so they was, hey, they was loud. Healthy people don't wear masks and rise up. <laughs> what does that mean? Hey, that's, hey, that's insurrection, man. That is an insurrection, man. To <laughs> tell the people to rise up, man. Don't Basically, don't trust your government. And Canadian government and United States government are two are similar, but they're different. So there are people in Canada telling people to rise up, man. To to rise up from what? The oppression of of the of their government, man. People are sick and tired of their, their government, man. This government, hey, they want to overthrow the government. Hey, that's talks of, of of sedition, man. Or insurrection. Hey, that's, that's, hey, that's, hey, that's, that's a crime. <laughs> Straight up. That's treasonous, and protesters gathered gathered at Canada at Great Canadian Flag in downtown Windsor, Windsor Sunday afternoon. More than fifty people gathered to protest COVID. Uh, uh, um, the thing, the thing nineteen. <laughs> uh, uh, Slacker, yeah, because you can't, can't, you know, you can't, you, you know, right? Uh, what's this word? Restrictions. In in defying to to ten ten persons limit limit for pro for public ga gathering, so this is in defiance of their ordering, man. They're they're in defiance to to what to what their government is saying, man. And this is all a part of the prophecy. And I asked uh, I asked some somebody I know to actually stay in Canada. And they said we need, they said they ain't as bad as the U.S. <laughs> because hey, because all eyes are in the U United States, man. All eyes. Are on what the United States is doing, man. What's happening over here? Because we're in the midst of a civil, uh, a, a civil war, man. We're on the brink of a civil war here in the United States and really across the globe, man. There's insurrections, uprisings happening all over the earth right now. And this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has proposed to happen in these last days. This is what's going on. This is what the Lord wants. This is what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has spoken about even from the beginning. And and it's and it's showing that the prophets of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai were correct through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And if you don't know, Yahweh is the name of of the heavenly Father who you call God, and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, is the one that you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the powers of heaven, man, and these are the powers orchestrating the, these these things across the earth. This is a uh, Isaiah thirteen and verse. In verse three, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have called my mighty ones for my anger. Even them, even them that rejoice in my in my highness. So the Lord Yahweh by Shmuel has has commanded this man. He's he's commanded his sanctified ones, his elect, to go out and preach the word. He's called his angels for 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 his anger. And the, and and the the ones that are going to rejoice in his high, highness is his uh, elect. The noise of the multitude 
the new the noise of a multitude in the mountain, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms and nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. And this is speaking about World War Three. And it's and you can also use this for the little little tumults and different things going on around the whole world. Because Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is mustering, man. He's he's in can I'll get I'll get the word for that. Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is in control of everything that's happening on this planet as we speak. He's the one doing this. He's the one allowing this. The scriptures say, "Shall shall I'll, I'll grab it." I'm not even gonna quote it. I'll, I'll I'll grab it. This thing load up to uh, muster. The muster. Pa yeah, pa quada, pa quada, some some to that to that effect. It says to attend to muster, number, reckon, visit, punish, appoint, look after, care for, <laughs> to pay attention to, observe to uh, to attend to, to seek, look up, look about for. To seek in vain, need, miss, lack. So basically, to muster, call up. Hey, the Lord is calling this up, man. To pa to pass in in review. To set over, make overseer, appoint overseers. To commit, in entrust, commit for care. The uh, deposit to be deposited. To make to make oh to make to be made overseer, be entrusted. So the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is the one in charge of this man. He's visiting, he's punishing it, he's the one appointed to it, he's overseeing it. And one of them is ruler. The Lord judgment, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is overseeing all the things which are happening on this earth, and he's allowing it, man. Because straight up, if the Lord didn't want any of this to happen, it wouldn't be happening. But you know why it's happening? Because Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai wants it to happen, man. The Lord is allowing all these things to happen because it is time for his prophecies to come to pass. This is Amos 3 and verse uh, 6. Shall a trumpet be, be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall, shall, evil, shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it. So the Lord. So the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is the one in controlling this. He's the one doing it. He's the one allowing it. He's the one overseeing it, man. Because if you're an overseer, if you see something going down, you're going to stop it. Just like if you're a lifeguard, which a lifeguard is an overseer. If he sees a kid drowning, what he's going to do is going to dive in and, and, sa and save him. But hey, the Lord is the Lord is that this overseer, and he's watching, and he's allowing all these things to happen, man. Huh? Because if he wanted to stop it, it would it would have been stopped. But he doesn't. He wants these prophecies to come out, man. He wants uproars of the people. He wants sedition among men. He wants evading of one another. He wants these things to happen on this earth. So what? That we can receive the kingdom of 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 Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. This is a. Uh, this is uh where is that? I could grab this Matthews, but let's see, let's see. Matthews four twenty four and twenty one. For then shall be great tribulation, and such as was not seen since the beginning of the whole world to this time, nor never shall shall be, and except those days be shortened. There should should no flesh be saved, but but for for their sake, for the elect's sake, these days shall be shortened. Then then if any man shall say unto unto you, uh, let me looking for one specifically. So uh, start. I'll just go to twenty seven. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. And and shineth every, even unto the, unto the west. So shall the, so, shall also the coming of the son of man be, for whithersoever the, 
the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall, shall not give her light, and the stars from heaven, and the powers of, of heaven shall be shaken. And this is speaking about the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, because in the midst of all these things, because this is what it's leading up to, man. The, the, the insurrections are only going to get worse. The uprising against the government is only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse from here on out. And it's all going to lead to, it's all going to culminate to our, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai and those nuclear missiles. Because hey, everyone's going to notice when the, when the Lord Yahweh Shai returns on this earth, man. And you're going to know, man. Verse 30, and then, then shall there appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the earths, then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, which are the chariots, which you call UFOs, of heaven with power and great glory. So this is what it's all leading up to, man, the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. To correct everything which has been doing, do, which has been done on this earth, man. These prophecies are all leading up to the return of our Lord Yahusha. This civil war was about to happen. These more insurrections, more uproars of the people. These are the things which the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai wants to happen and will happen. And we get one more and close it off. This is Second Ezra five. Actually, I'll get this. This is Second Ezra 14 and verse 14. Let us let let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burden of, of man. Put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. What times? The time of Jacob's trouble, which are fastly approaching the earth. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter speaking about in ezra's time and even use that for now man the shit we're seeing now is nothing man compared to what's really about to go down man <laughs> man it's about to be hell on earth man just like when the lord took down egypt and said that he he unleashed the inevitable depths of hell on them people man <laughs> and that's in wisdom of solomon so it's going to be hell on the earth man it's only going to get worse from here on out. It's not going to get better. The prophecies are going to come to pass. And they're going to keep coming to pass. And the only evil times. Waiting for the planet earth. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and verse 1. And he answered me then and said. Measure thou the time diligently. In itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. Which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou well understand. That it is the very same time. Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world. Which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these things been spoken about from the time of the beginning, man. They've been spoken about thousands and thousands of years ago, and they're now coming to pass. So, hey, if you you better, it will behoove you to listen to the men of Yahweh, but Shemiah Shai. But with that, all praise be to Yahweh, Shemiah Shai, and Shalom.